Uh, hi guys, welcome into this video. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, bitching about a few different things um, when we're talking about that Wi-Fi Ranger, uh, how to get some internets on the road, uh, how to repurpose your T-Mobile SIM uh, for a Wi-Fi device. Uh, make sure it's unlocked. <laughs> Spoiler alert! <laughs> Stay tuned, folks. And yeah, so why am I doing this? It's because my ISP here, AT&T DSL, sucks. It's like 1 megabit. And these other hotspots are like 20 megabits down. So if I can get a connection like that that's solid, and then also uh, do some load balancing on the router so I have like three different ISPs that it would load balance over, that's like the dream. That's what I'm going for right now. I've got an Asus router up there that allows you to connect uh, a secondary WAN, a MiFi device, and I've got an additional line for my T-Mobile here, this phone right here, and I haven't been using it. <laughs> I'd like to take the SIM card out of it and um, use that in this device right here. I found this online. This is the Netgear Unite Explorer, and supposedly reading through the reviews it says that you can just pop in your T-Mobile SIM well that's not the case I've got this locked message here tap to unlock and then it's asking me to uh, in, uh, enter an, a MEP code and you, I can't get that I think this is carrier locked to AT&T even though it has the bands on there that will support uh, T-Mobile people say that they can pop in a Cricut uh, SIM card in here and it works just fine and that makes sense because that's on the AT&T network so this thing is locked to the AT&T network so it turns out I got the wrong one I guess this is carrier locked they do have unlocked versions and it looks like um, here's one right here you have to pay a little bit more see all buying options it's one of these deals used like new oh if you want it new it's only you know, double the price three times the price so yeah I'm, uh, there are these third-party websites here and um, sellcorner.com I guess and looks like uh, wholesalers and cell phone shops they can buy these in bulk so maybe if I go to a cell phone uh, repair shop they might be able to help me and then it looks like there's a link here that you can buy an unlock code online I don't know man this looks a little shady should I trust this? I'm going to look up reviews for this, but I can get it done for $32. Maybe that's the route I need to take. I'm just not getting any wins lately, man. Ah, it's frustrating. I just got to remain, I just got to be persistent, you know? Something is eventually going to work for me. I know it. I have a feeling. And then after that, then I will be able to pop it as a, uh, sorry, I'll be able to connect it to my Asus router there, and it'll be a secondary WAN which means there's a load balancing feature in there so theoretically if you have a lot of clients uh, in your house like a laptop and then a cell phone and maybe I'm downloading torrents or something like that um, it'll load balance so it'll use the WAN with the the least traffic I guess it'll it'll kinda you know load balance so it'll make use of my DSL connection and this MiFi device if I can get it working so overall theoretically it should give me faster internet that's the theory but you know what? Those Asus routers, I, they look really slick, nice UI and everything, but I found two features in them that doesn't work already. The um, the failover uh, for WANs, I've tried that. It doesn't work. It just bounces back and forth. And then the other feature I was using was using an Android smartphone as uh, another WAN device, but it didn't recognize this at all, so I don't know why that is, but it did not work. So that's why I'm trying this method with a, just a straight up um, MiFi device that you can plug in uh, through USB and then plug that into the back of the router, the USB port. And people say online that that does work, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping that'll work. If not, if not, they have these load balancing routers, and these have pretty good reviews, 900 reviews on this one, it's been around for a while, but this uh, does have a proven load balancing and failover for WANs that does work, so... So, I think these Asus routers, they're just a little bit overpriced, and they look slick, but two of the features I've tried just don't work on it. So, other people online are encountering the same issue, so I know it's not just me. And the ultimate goal here is I would like to get a few different WANs. 
ISPs, connections to the internet. So right now we've got DSL, but it's really, really slow where we are in this RV park. And then, like I said, secondary, I want to get this one so I can load balance. And then also, I've been looking into these Xfinity wireless hotspots. I don't know if you've noticed, but if you go around in neighborhoods, um, you can often find um, uh, oh, the uh, SSID um, access point, you know, like hotspots for um, Xfinity wireless. And if you connect to one of those, it'll ask you for a username and password. Now, if you're a customer, you have that, but... <clears throat> When you connect to their Xfinity uh, Wi-Fi hotspot, then it'll give you um, some pricing options if you don't have a login. And it's like the same price as getting their service otherwise um, if you had it directly wired to your house. But as you can see, I'm not able to connect to it. I'm sitting here on the couch in the fifth wheel, and uh, I just don't have the reception to get it. But I was able to connect when I was up on my roof. And I had one of these up on the roof, and I was pointing it. Um, and I was able to get uh, pretty good um, access. Unfortunately, I realized uh, this is a little outdated. So, um, you know, this is, I've, I've had this sitting in a drawer for almost 10 years now. Uh, I finally put it to use and realized that, um, you know, we've got 802.11n networks now. We've got the 5 gigahertz range with MIMO uh, antennas, so you can use both frequencies 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz anyway this thing is really outdated so when I was able I was able to connect to Comcast and oh my god I did a speed test and it was so fast the problem was the latency the initial time that it takes to load a page was just too dang slow but if you're doing like a bulk download of something then yeah that's really quick so uh, I went and upgraded this and I got this guy right here it's got you know it's updated for uh, 2018 it's uh, I thought it would work good but unfortunately I got the wrong one I needed to have a client router or client bridging function to it uh, like the ingenious router that I used to have that worked but unfortunately I got the wrong one and the other one that I needed was actually cheaper this is if if you like own a hotel or a public place and you want to share out your internet this is called WISP Wi-Fi as an ISP this is one of those WISP devices, but the acronym that I was looking for is CPE, and I don't even know what that stands for. <laughs> this is the one that I should have gotten. This will allow you to, uh, you know, log, log into the router here, uh, and you can click a survey button, and it'll show you all of the uh, op or the Wi-Fi hotspots in, in uh, that I can see, and you can connect to. So it the one that I got didn't have that feature. It, like this one's even cheaper. I should have just got this one. There you can see it's right up there and it's on a tripod so I can point it. And uh I got pretty good reception. I've got a lot more uh Wi-Fi hotspots showing up when I use that when I get that actual height advantage there. So if you're going to try this, this is the device that you want. There's a few of them, but the acronym that you're looking for is CPE right there. So the one on the roof needs to go back in the box and be returned. And this is the one that I bought instead. Uh, I, I actually uh, changed my mind and I went with Ubiquiti. They provide um, con um, almost uh, professional grade consumer products. Prosumer as they call it. This is the Ubiquiti, uh, Ubiquiti, Ubiquiti Nano Station M2. They have a 2.4 gigahertz version and a 5 gigahertz version. I decided to go with 2.4 because it'll uh, 2.4 gigahertz travels a, a farther distance, um, and and 5 gigahertz is newer. And my thought is that maybe some of the routers, uh, customer routers out there, haven't been upgraded and they're still on 2.4 gigahertz. So this should give me the largest range or of options. You can go cheaper as well. Um, this is the uh, Loco M2. It's uh, the same. It's 2.4 gigahertz. I think it's just the DBI uh, rating. So basically, the one that I got is bigger than this. My thought is that maybe I'll be able to get a signal from access points that are farther away. I'm, I'm thinking that. But you know what? This will probably be fine. And it's $46. That's a steal. I was also looking into getting this light beam AC. This is pretty cool. It's like a satellite dish, basically, that you put up on the roof. Uh, it's pretty good size, um, but I wondered, well, is this going to hold up um, driving down the freeway? You know, 70 mile per hour winds, potentially. 
And really, for what I'm doing, this wouldn't really give me any advantage anyways. There's some pretty cool videos of um, linking um, these. If you get one on one side and then another on the other side, you can get buildings that are uh, like 15 miles apart. As long as they have line of sight, this thing sends a very directed beam. Um, and uh, you could, you know, transfer internet across like 14 miles. It's crazy. But there's really no benefit in getting something like this. So... Uh, it's because while I can transmit, I have a very powerful transmit on my side, um, the access point that I'm trying to connect to is just, you know, a consumer grade, and it's not pointed uh, directly at me. So while I can talk to it, I'm not going to get a received signal. Um, so not worth it to even get this. So yeah, I'd say if you're going to be doing this, your best bet is just to go with the NanoStation Loco M2 or... The M5, and I think the only difference here is that this is 5 gigahertz. I chose 2.4. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, but I, I think I'm going to have access to more uh, hotspots, older hotspots. Um, I, I just want to find a good internet signal right now.